Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, for anyone that may not know, my name is Brandon and uh, I'm the Associate Pastor here at First Assembly of God in, here in Minden. And I uh, just want to share with you uh, this week another devotion. Uh, as I said last week, I was going to be doing over the next seven weeks a devotion uh, off the book From This Day Forward by Craig and Amy Groeschel. Uh, here's what it looks like. And uh, if you go to your Bible app, and you can download it if you don't already have it, and, uh, and you just type in From This Day Forward, uh, it's a marriage devotional. And, uh, and it's off this book. And so I uh, just want to share with you, but we're in week number two. And, uh, and so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Matthew chapter 22, verse 36 through 39. It says, Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law of Moses? And Jesus replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. 2 Chronicles 7.14 says, Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. Matthew 7, verse 7 and 8 says, Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. And finally, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything that you need. And just for a moment, I just want to read uh, one of the, the part of the devotional that um, is not scripture, but it just uh, mentions a few things. It says, Modern culture tells us that we should look for that perfect person, the one. If we just find and marry the one, everything afterwards is wedded bliss, right? That's a pretty un unreasonable expectation to place on someone. Just think, would you want to be the one to bear that responsibility? Then why force those expectations on someone else? And then it says, God is the one who completes you. He created you to love him with your whole heart and to put him above all else. God is your one. Your spouse is your two. And when the two of you commit to seek God together, you can build a marriage together on a firm foundation that will stand the test of time. And I think, you know, whether you're fisting to get married or you've been married for a long time, um, I think that's one thing that we have to make sure that, you know, we have the order of how everything should be. Uh, your spouse should not be your number one. It should be your number two. God should be your number one. And, uh, and I think that, you know, sometimes it's easy for us to say that, but are we actually putting God number one in our lives uh, or is our spouse or is something else taking that place? Uh, and when we get that order, uh, when we get that, that kind of stuff out of order uh, in our lives, that's when we start seeing things fall apart in chaos because your spouse uh, at some point is going to disappoint you. Everything in this life is going to disappoint you at some point. God is the one that you can always stand firm on. He's your firm foundation and that we should be seeking him and, and he should be our number one. And then the marriage is, is on the foundation of God. And, uh, and it makes it so much easier. It's not always going to be perfect. Uh, your spouse is always going to be imperfect. They're not going to always do everything that you want. Things are not always going to turn out the way you want it. Um, but when we put God as our number one and our spouse is our number two, then uh, our, our marriage has you know, everything it needs to, to survive and to, to do things the right way. So I just want to pray with you today, and, uh, and then we'll go on uh, from there. God, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for all our blessings, God, that you've given to us. And I just pray that you order our steps, God, that um, if, if, if you're not number one in our life, God, I pray that you make that evident to us, God, that we know it and that we do some rearranging in our life. God, that we place you first in our life and that our spouse is number two. And uh, God, that we just uh, make sure that we are, honoring, we are honoring you in every way. And God, I just pray that you just help us have a great day in you. In Jesus' name, amen. So tonight is midweek service. If you'll join us online, we'll be on uh, Facebook and YouTube at 630, and we would love to have you. Y'all have a great day.